A sclera polydocanol injection is a sclerosing agent indicated to sclerose uncomplicated spider veins less than or equal to one millimeter in diameter and uncomplicated reticular veins from one to three millimeters in diameter in the lower extremity. A sclera has not been studied in varicose veins more than three millimeters in diameter. A sclera polydocanol injection is contraindicated for patients with known allergy to polydocanol and patients with acute thromboembolic diseases. A sclera is available in 0.5% and 1% concentrations and is intended for intravenous use only. The strength of the solution and the volume injected depend on the size and the extent of the varicose veins. Use 0.5% of sclera for spider veins and 1% of sclera for reticular veins. The maximum recommended volume per treatment session is 10 milliliters. A sclera is a preservative-free sclerosin packaged in 2 milliliter single-use glass ampules, which are pre-scored for ease of opening. For sterility, gauze may be used over the top of the ampule during opening. Hold the base of the ampule between thumb and index finger. Firmly hold the top of the ampule with the other hand and apply steady, even pressure away from the dot. The ampule should open without excessive force. Using a larger gauge needle to avoid creating air bubbles, draw up a sclera in the desired syringe. Affix a 26 to 30 gauge needle to the syringe. Remove all air bubbles and prime the needle for injection. Prior to injection, cleanse the area to be treated with alcohol. Identify and stabilize the target vein. One method of injecting is to insert the needle tangentially into the vein and inject a sclera slowly. Use 0.1 to 0.3 milliliters for each injection into the spider or reticular vein. Applying gentle pressure during injection may help prevent unwanted vein rupture. Upon injecting a sclera, the vein will no longer be visible. This is a result of the sclera displacing the blood in the vein as well as the overall mechanism of action for the product. Polydocanol, the active ingredient in a sclera, works by locally damaging the endothelium of blood vessels as it flows through the vein. When injected intravenously, polydocanol micelles induce endothelial damage, causing the vein to spasm, contract, and collapse. Eventually, a dense network of platelets Cellular debris and fibrin occludes the vessel. Over time, the occluded vein is replaced with connective tissue. Many patients will require additional injection sessions for complete treatment success. Severe allergic reactions have been reported following polydocanol use, including anaphylactic reactions, some of them fatal. Severe reactions are most frequent with use of volumes over 3 milliliters. The dose of polydocanol should therefore be minimized. Be prepared to treat anaphylaxis appropriately.